Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nima. If you are new here, if you're not, welcome back. So today I'm gonna be swatching some lipsticks from Maybelline. They just came out with seven or eight, I think it's seven or eight new shades that they say are universally flattering on all skin tones. They said they tested it on 50 different complexions and I was intrigued by it. I think I was watching Hulu and I saw the commercial for it and I was like, hmm, that's interesting. So I wanted to go ahead and test them out and just try them out because it just seemed fun. I have all seven of them right here. I'm gonna read you guys what Maybelline claims on these lipsticks because if you're gonna say that it's gonna be universally flattering, I want to know why you think that for everybody, okay? Maybelline's new universal lipstick shade collection that complements all complexions, obsessively tested on 50 diverse skin tones, and it says satisfaction guaranteed. I'm just gonna be trying on all seven of these shades and just letting you guys know what I think about all of them. I'm gonna start off with this one right here. It's called Spice For Me. That's actually a really pretty orange. Let's see, let's see. I don't know if I'm gonna need a lip liner for this. Mid applying this lipstick, I decided that I needed to get you guys in a little bit closer. So this is what it's looking like. This is really actually um, really pretty. Honestly, this is pretty. <laughs> this is really pretty. This orange. Okay, this is called Spice for me. I would wear it with or without a lip liner. I'm gonna go ahead and put a lip liner just so you guys can see what it looks like with a lip liner. What could have made this shade go really left is if it was like a chalky, really pale orange, like almost pastel. That would not be universally flattering, but this is. This one is pretty. It's dark skin approved. I'm gonna go ahead and put a lip liner. It's obviously better to go in with a lip liner first. It's a little harder to go in after. <laughs> and then this is it with a lip liner. It would have been a little neater if I went in with a lip liner first. This is giving me very fall, very pumpkin spice. Yes, this is definitely giving me that. This shade is called Mauve for me. It's this pinky mauve shade. You guys, I need to get my nails done. I'm sorry if you guys can see that. Don't judge me, please. And that's not dirt underneath my nail right there. That is makeup, that's foundation. <laughs> This one, I definitely think I would wanna go the liner. The formula is really nice and they're super pigmented. So especially for deeper skin tones, pigmentation is definitely key because um, our skin can tend to overpower the colors, especially if they're not pigmented enough. When there's a lack of pigmentation, the deeper skin tone will overpower that color and it'll look pretty much non-existent. I'm gonna go in with the same liner that I just used, Makeup Forever Artist Color Pencil in the shade Dimensional Dark Brown. This is what the mauve for me looks like with a lip liner around it. Putting a little bit of gloss on top would really, ooh. I'm gonna put the Pat McGrath lip gloss on top of it because I think it's really just gonna set it off with the glossiness. See how that just like blended everything all together. Nude lipstick with gloss is just always a vibe. I just can't do it without a gloss. It just feels weird. So the last four kind of look a little similar to me. We're gonna see what they look like on the inside. I feel like for me, they kind of look a little similar. I'm still gonna go from lightest to darkest. So the next one is a pink for me and it's a uh, number 376. This one? nervous about this one looks you know that pale pastel that I was telling you guys about this one kind of gives me that vibes oh she's a little sheer I don't hate it I'm not obsessed with it but I don't hate it I've definitely seen a lot worse with pale pinks I wouldn't even put a lip liner on this you definitely could but I wouldn't let's see if I can find like a, a lighter lip liner than the super dark one that I have I have this one called limitless brown from makeup forever as well I really don't hate this this is nice this is actually really nice the next one is fuchsia for me fiery pink that is definitely different from which one was it pink for me Ooh, this is pink for me and then this is fuchsia for me look at that color See how it applies sheer? I think they did that with the the pink for me and the fuchsia for me. On the top, I just did one swipe. And this is what it looks like with just one swipe on the top, on my top lip. And on my bottom lip, I went in a few times. So it's definitely buildable. You can definitely add 
Oh, this is super fun. This is very fun. Not the right makeup look for it, but this is very fun. We've got two more. We've got Ruby for me and Plum for me. I'm gonna go in with Plum for me. Purple plum shade right here. And that's really pretty. Okay, so that's one coat. This is a very sexy color. Like it's not over the top. It's eye-catching, but not too eye-catching. It's really pretty. This video was not sponsored by Maybelline whatsoever. I was honestly surprised that they made such a big claim. So that's why I was like, I need to check these lipsticks out because that's a big claim to make. Universally flattering. Now we're going into the shade Ruby for me, which is a bright red. I feel like it's a in between almost a true red and a blue red. Okay, so that's one coat. You guys already know how I feel about reds. I just can't control myself when it comes to red. This is really pretty. <laughs> this is a really, really pretty shade. This is Ruby for me. Um, I think it came out nice. I think my favorites are, I really like the Plum For Me shade. That was cute. Honestly, Pink For Me was one of the ones that I was nervous about, but I liked the color. I really did. I didn't mind the color at all. And then um, Spice For Me. That orange, that orange was so pretty. So. That's pretty much it. I'm honestly so surprised. So for me, on the deeper side of the spectrum, I think these look really good. I would like to see them on someone with like a little bit more medium skin tone, and then someone with like a tan, and then someone with really fair skin. Seems like they did their homework, so shout out to you Maybelline for doing your homework. Like, I'm honestly so impressed. It would have been really crappy to have universal shades and then some of them are looking dusty, literally. But no, I'm honestly really impressed. Comment down below, guys, which one was your favorite and if you guys have tried these yet. And don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe and join your girl. Thank you guys so much for watching. Lots of love and I will see you guys next time.